In this video, I'll talk about a few different ways that you can enter input into Mathematica. In the previous video, I talked about how important it is to use capital letters for built-in functions and square brackets when substituting values into those built-in functions. But there are a few easier ways to enter uh, commands into Mathematica, even if you don't know what the correct syntax is. The first way is called freeform linguistic input, and you access this simply by starting on a new line and pressing the equal sign. You'll see a large orange equal sign show up, and then here you're just going to type in natural language what it is you want Mathematica to do. So for example, if we're trying to solve an equation, like solve 4x squared equals x plus 3, we can simply type that in. And then if we press our shift enter as we normally do to evaluate input, Mathematica will interpret what we typed in and then do two things. One is it will give us the actual official correct syntax. Notice that the command that we're using here is reduce, starting with a capital R, and we're using square brackets and this is the syntax that we get. And notice that it's that same command with the capital N command that we learned about in the previous video to give us our decimal uh, approximations to our answers. So that gives us two outputs. One is the solutions to this equation, which are negative 3 quarters and x equals 1. And then the decimal versions of those, which are negative 0.75, and then again, uh, x equals 1. So this is a nice way to get done what you want to get done, even if you don't know the exact syntax. Once we do this, if we want to actually say, oh, now I understand that reduce was the command I was supposed to use, I can actually click that, that text, uh, the, the, the syntax here, and it will replace what I originally typed with this command. And so no one will ever know that I used the preform linguistic input to evaluate that. We can do many things with this. We can plot graphs. So for example, I could say plot y equals x squared, and then Mathematica will think about that and then give us our plot command. So we see that the command that plots a graph is plot with capital P. We see we're plotting x squared. And then we see here it says x negative 1.2 comma 1.2. And if we look at our graph, we can actually see that the x values of our graph go from negative 1.2 to 1.2. If that wasn't exactly what we wanted, then we could click to replace our input with that. And then we could say, well, what I really wanted was my graph to go from x equals negative 10 to 10. And I could change the command hit enter again, and then it gives me an updated graph, which is maybe more what I wanted. So we can use the freeform linguistic input as a starting point and then modify what it gives us to produce the actual output that we want. So the other way that we can enter commands into Mathematica is using Wolfram Alpha. And Wolfram Alpha is a search engine, much like Google, where we can access by pressing equal twice, so equal equal, and now what you see is an orange equal sign in a little star icon. And now if we type in something, we don't have to type in a mathematical command. We can just type in anything that we might want to know. So for example, I might want to know what's the smallest country in Europe. And if I type that in, again, Mathematica will think for a while. And what it's really doing is it's accessing the Wolfram Alpha database. And now it's going to look up. And again, if we kind of skim through this, because as we'll see, there's a lot of information here, but it's assuming that we meant smallest by total area. Um, if we wanted GDP, which is the gross domestic product, or population, we can click these buttons to redo the search with those criteria. And now as we see, the result is that the smallest city by area is Vatican City. And then in addition, it's giving us a lot of information about that result. The total area, the population, languages, and so on. All the same kind of information that we would get if we simply went to Wolfram Alpha directly. Just to give you another example, we might look up the population of Pennsylvania. And if we look up the population of Pennsylvania, again, it's going to tell us that in 2015, the population was 12.8 million people. It gives us a graph of the population over time. And again, lots and lots of information um, about this question that we had. So between freeform linguistic input and Wolfram Alpha, there's lots of ways to get Mathematica to do the kinds of things that we want to do without having to know a lot of technical syntax.